Hey guys, it's KJ48, and welcome back to my 7 Days to Die Let's Play. This is Alpha 4, and this is going to be Season 4, and this Part 2. And we are just in our house right here that we've uh, secured ourselves in, and I've been just waiting out the night. But I have a couple things I need to get to before morning time, so let's do it. Okay, so one thing I wanted to point out, though, is uh, in order to make aloe cream, you actually need to plant aloe. I don't know why I thought it was yucca fibers. Uh, a couple people pointed it out to me, and uh, yeah, it's plant aloe. I don't know what I was thinking. And in order to make the aloe cream, I'm not really sure what I... Or in order to make the bandages... Can I make the bandages? Yes, I can. Let's say aloe cream and cloth fragment. There we go, bandages. I don't know why I didn't realize it was aloe cream. I'm just... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. It's been, it's been a very exciting time for this game, and uh, you know, I just kind of didn't think straight. So anyway, the other thing we're going to make is a melee weapon. So we're going to go ahead and make a... Oh, oh, what was that? A hunting knife. Hmm. How do you make the shiv? Can I make the shiv? I forget what it's called. It's called the something shiv, right? I don't see it. But I do see the hunting knife. I'm not sure. Should I use the hunting knife? It... I can't imagine a hunting knife would be better. But I'm going to use it anyway. Just because it's something new. So, alright, and the other thing I wanted to do before we venture out is you can now turn hubcaps and uh, car filters and probably candy tins into scrap metal. So I'm going to do that. A bunch of people pointed that out to me. It was pretty cool. And uh, I can't remember who did it, but uh, whoever did it, thank you very much. I want to make, I'm thinking about making a spike club. Let's see what else we can make, if anything. Nah, nothing really good. Let's go ahead and make a spike club. Let's see if I can guess this. Mm. Oh, look at that. Alright, so we're going to make a spike club as well. So now we have two melee weapons, so that's pretty cool. Now, I am going to have to be doing a lot of things on this Let's Play that I did in Season 2. And I did on Season 3. A lot of you have already seen this uh, stuff before, but uh, some of you might be new to my channel. So I'm going to do this in a kind of a clip show way. <laughs> I am basically going to come out of here uh, as soon as I'm done talking, and I'm going to make myself... I'm going to make my way to Dyersville, and I'm not going to show that trip at all because I've been doing it a lot lately, and it's kind of a boring trip anyway. I'm just going to go straight to Dyersville. So when I get to Dyersville, I will come back and start up the video. So see you in Dyersville. Okay, so I lied. I'm not going to Dyersville just yet. I actually need to make myself a fire axe, and I also need to bust out of here. Now, busting out of here is going to be zombie action, and I am not going to deprive you guys of the, the zombie action. So let's uh, let's bust out of here and kill some zombies, and then I will pause the video and go to Dyersville. Um, the fighting in this game, uh, I'm getting used to it. As I play more and more, I feel more and more comfortable. So, uh, you know, I'm just getting better at, at the game as time goes on, which, you know, is to be expected. Come on, break, damn it. There we go. Let's see how this shiv works. Um, it doesn't. Whoa. Whoa, how are they so fast in here? Like, they were pretty freaking fast, man. Like, serious. There's a torch right here. I wonder if the torches are going better on the walls now, too. Let's see. No, nope, the torches are still a problem. But, oh well, let's not concern ourselves with that. The only thing I don't like about this hunting knife is if I... Oh, look at this, a rabbit. Well, since I got a hunting hunting knife, I might as well take out the rabbit. Now, the only thing I don't like about the hunting knife is it's a very close proximity weapon, which is not something you want to... You don't want to get next to zombies in the zombie apocalypse. But, as you can see right there... You know, if, you, if you're fast enough, it could be very, very effective. So, I'm going to head to Dyersville, and I will come back when I'm there. Okay, on my way to Dyersville, I came across this building right here. And I am going to loot it up. So, let's uh, let's start the video and get into some some action here. I hear some bees. That one's pretty far away, though. Whoa. Whoa, look at this. Huh. That is surprising. Getting better with this knife, by the way. You get the shotgun, fatty. Where's that bee, man? He's bothering me. It's like he's stuck down there. Yeah, he's stuck. Alright, I'm gonna leave him alone. I don't really have time. Whoa! So let's go. We're gonna loot this place up. Well, actually, I'm kind of liking this knife now. 
And you might be wondering why I'm taking those oil barrels. Well, oil barrels are really nice because you can actually turn them into gas. Oh, look at that on the dog! Oh, did you guys see that? Okay, now that was sweet. Whoops. Alright, let's loot up and get out of here. Uh, I'm still just heading towards Dyersville, but I might as well hit these places up on the way to Dyersville. Because um, I probably won't be back here. Maybe ever. So, why not? I can get scrap metal from these things. How many scrap metal? Just one? It's not really worth it. It's not like it takes a lot to break those things, but... It's just the fact of stopping and, you know, having to do it. Alright, I just got another weapon. So that's really good. Let's move this stuff down. And we will also... Well, actually, that's not really... I want to save number two for another, uh, another like, gun. So we're going to leave that open for now. Alright, so... This is the uh, Fallout 3 part of the game. <laughs> Just running around and loot stuff. Uh, I really, you know, quite enjoy it. I'm going to go ahead and take some pills. I'm not going to have to save my pills that much anymore. Because I can make bandages now. So... Not that, that aloe stuff is like everywhere, but I can get some. Not really a problem. All right, let's take this. There is some stuff on that on this roof. And for those of you that watched my uh, my last season's let's play and the one before that, I actually made like a nice little stronghold in Dyersville. Uh, I'm probably not going to do that this time. I might do it eventually, but I'm not going to do it right off the bat when I first get there. Uh, when I oh boy, all right getting some problems here. Let me, uh, stone, right? There we go. Alright. Uh, what was I saying? Dyersville, yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna, like, go out of my way to make a big defense. I'm just, to tell you the truth, I'm kind of sick of having to go to Dyersville because of all these updates and me having to start my Let's Play over again. Uh, by the way, this is another thing we can do. Uh, scrap metal, and hubcaps, scrap metal, candy tins, scrap metal. Man, that's pretty... That's pretty beast right there. Let's uh, just check the rest of this stuff and then GTFO. I am taking the feathers so I can make bolts for my crossbow. So Now, I think we just need to check inside. I know we went inside, but I don't think we checked everywhere. Um, or did we? Actually, we did. This is a different gas station than the other one I used to go to. Ooh. Ooh. Let's, keep, let's grab all these. These are the most important thing to get here. Actually, look right here. Put them up here. Boom, gas cans. Hey, I only had two. Oh, here's another three. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And don't forget, guys, I'm going to need that, that gas for the auger. So, I'm not just, you know, stockpiling gas for my health here. It's going to be uh, quite important to my long-term plans on digging stuff out. Especially with the changes they made to... Uh, weapon degradation that also works on tools so it is very important that I get an auger so that way I can uh, I, you know I can mine with the auger instead of having to sit there with a pickaxe that might be degradated degradated I'm not sure if I'm saying that right I think I am um, so yeah it just makes more sense and there was oh crap there's something else I want to say now I know I can't remember oh degradation so degradation only goes down at 50% of the of the uh, item. So if you have an item that is has 1% condition or like no condition, it'll do 50% of its damage or, you know, uh, mining efficiency. So it's not as bad as I thought. It doesn't go, it's not a one for one. Like my shotgun right here is at 165, 250 and it's 83% effectiveness. So that's still pretty good. All right, I do not have a ton of water, but... I don't want to be... I'm kind of in a hurry. I don't like drinking right now because, you know, it's kind of wasting water. And I'd also like to loot this farm, but i got to get to Dyersville. Um, I'm making pretty good time, but I'm just picking up corn here. I don't really need that much. Um, I just need to get to Dyersville. I would like, I would love to loot this farm, but I just I just don't have the time. Maybe, uh, maybe if I get what I need in Dyersville, I can come back and loot the farm. We'll see. Here we go. I'm wasting water again. Ugh. The thing is, once we get a lot of sand... Okay, the idea is to get the auger, and then use the auger to get a crap ton of sand in the south. 
That's the idea. That's what I'm working towards. And if they could stop making an update every other week or every week, then <laughs> maybe I'll get to it. But, you know, I'm not going to complain. I'd rather them uh, do an update every week than, you know, not do an update for months. That was that was kind of ridiculous. So I'm fine. I'm, I'm just kind of half joking. Uh, I was going to cut the video until I got to Dyersville, but that is not even an issue right now because I am at Dyersville. So I'm going to stay in the same house. I'm going to... I'm just gonna board up the windows. There's no reason not to. I have the I have the wood. I have the boards. You know, might as well. But I'm not really like trying to make my outpost yet. Like I said, I'm gonna have an outpost. I'm gonna have I'm gonna live here. I'm gonna have an outpost in Dyersville, and I'm gonna have an outpost down here in the south. Those are my uh, plans. I probably won't get any of it done because, <laughs> you know, to keep updating the game. But you never know. We'll see. Stranger things have happened. There we go. That's what I'm talking about, guys. The first place, Augur. That's what I'm talking about. So this has already been... This has already been a great Let's Play already. I mean, if nothing else happens, this has been great because I found the Augur and I found it quickly. Um, I need to eat some more. This is why you don't bring food with you. Because you don't really need to. There we go. Alright, let's, uh, let's get set up in the house then. And uh, we will we'll get set up in the house. And you know what? I'm not even going to loot anymore. I'm just going to head down south tomorrow. Uh, this is going to be an, uh, an accelerated LP because I expect another update. You know, who knows when. Could be tomorrow. Well, probably won't be tomorrow, but, you know, it could be quite soon. So I'm going to accelerate this Let's Play. And I'm going to try and get as much done as possible. And, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. So, for those of you who are new to my video series, this is one of my favorite places to stay in the game so far. This house right here. And I have a whole routine I go through where I just board up all the windows. I'll board up these. These are called boarded windows, for those of you that don't know. And they are extremely strong. They take three hits from an axe at full power to break. And you can double them up on any surface. So, they are extremely, like, efficient. Uh, they're actually much better to put down than, uh, you know, even stone. Like, I used to put down stone on these uh, windows to block them up when I first started playing. And, you know, I didn't do very well because it's a, it's not a good idea. It makes sense, though. You would think, okay, I have boarded windows, uh, which, you know, look at them. They look pretty thin to me. Um, oh, God. See, that's going to bother me. i got to take that down. Uh, so I got boarded windows or I have stone. I mean, which one would you use? Why isn't this working? Oh, this isn't good. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Okay, so that's a new feature, guys. If you left-click with the mouse button, it will turn an item sideways, like so. Oh, look, it puts it on an angle, too. Oh, wow. Okay, that's cool. I like that. All right, so there you go. We, we learn together. That's what's great about this game. We learn together. That's a really neat feature. So not only can you make stuff, you know, turn sideways, but you can actually, uh, you can actually make it turn on an angle. It makes sense, you know, they're probably, they're probably thinking about roofing. I think in the update, when I actually read about the update, they mentioned, uh, the roof, the roofs and the way they, uh, the way they like to be on an angle, you know, and I went over this, it makes sense. R roofing was made on an angle in real life on purpose because they don't want stuff to pile up on it. They don't want water to pile up on the roof and they don't want snow to pile up on the roof. They want stuff to run off it so it doesn't cave in on you. Ugh, darn it. So we're just about done here. I don't think I'm going to be able to do much looting after I'm done here. But what I'm going to do is... Whoa! Stab this dog! Stab! Stabby stabby! Well, we can't hit each other. Stabby, stabby. Eat it. All right, I'm wasting stuff. It's pretty stupid to do that. Um, yeah. So anyway, roofing. So that's pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do here <coughs> is I'm gonna I'm gonna board up these windows. I'm going to go on a loot run, and at that point, the root the loot run will be very short because I do not have a lot of daylight left. And this isn't working. Why isn't this working? There we go. Man, it's pretty interesting. I like that. I like that mechanic. You know what? I'm probably not even enough time for a loot run. You're not coming in here. 
I'll deal with you now. All right, so the whole bottom floor is pretty much done. So I am going to go on a bit of a loot run here. I'm going to take care of these jokers. Oh, acid spitter. Where the hell is he? There you are. You missed. I didn't. Sucker. I gotta tell you guys, I'm getting pretty good at this. Why can't I break this grass? Yeah! Remember how much problems I had with those dogs when I first started playing this uh, update? Yeah, okay, I take it back, guys. I take it back. I like this knife. <laughs> At first, I was like, eh, I don't know, you know? But now I'm like, yes, yes. Thank you. I will take your knife, sir. All right, I want those items. Uh, what do I want to give up? Well, nothing, actually. Because I will just use this and repair them. And then I'll grab my yucca plants back. Oh, another hunting knife. Oh, I should take that. Okay. All right, shotgun. We can repair these and not lose anything. The repairing mechanic is extremely important in this game. It's a lot like Fallout, Fallout 3 in that way. This game actually has a lot of Fallout 3 in it. All right, let's get back home. All right, so now we run in here and we board up this... No, 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 no. I don't have time for this. Still got to get used to this mechanic here. There we go. And now we're going to double all these windows. And I'm just going to loot this house. And I'm going to pause the video for that. And uh, when I come back, it'll be morning. And, well, actually, let's see how much time we have left on this video before we make any decisions. Uh, three minutes? Yeah, I'll make this a longer video. All right, so I'm going to board up these windows, solidify this place, and loot it. It'll be pretty boring now because I've done all the hard stuff. So I'm going to pause the video, and when I come back, we will actually head down to the south, and uh, we will use our auger. So see you in the morning. All right, and we're back. And we have waited up here the night. It has been a pretty uneventful night. I've spent most of the night just doing my inventory management, and I have everything I want. On this trip and I left some I left a melee weapon here I left some food and then here I left a bunch of food water a shotgun and some shells you know in case I ever come here and you know I need those items or whatever I don't know I just figured I'd leave some stuff here it's pretty cool and down here we have looted this entire area and the Sun is beginning to come up uh, I think I'll just cut my way out of here uh, 7 a.m. it's a little bit early for me to leave here I usually like to wait a little bit longer but I'm gonna go out now I will show you me clearing the area, and then I will pause the video, and I will come back when I'm at my destination in the south, unless something really interesting happens. Um, I will be picking up some items on the way down. I'll probably, you know, pull up the video when I do that, just to show you what I'm getting and stuff. Um, normally, I would never... Normally, I would never uh, uh, cut the video so much, but like I said in my last few Let's Plays... I've done this continuously. Uh, Alright, good, they're all slow. I have done this, build the base, go to Dyersville, go into the south, get sand, get an auger thing, repeatedly. And um, I'm going to show some of it, but, uh, you know, the rest of the stuff is going to have to be cut. Because, uh, you know, I've been showing so much of it, and they keep coming up with updates so quickly. If I don't, you know, cut some of this stuff out, I'm going to have no choice. Um, if you really enjoy this running around stuff, then by all means, go check out Season 2 or even Season 3. I did forget to do something before I left the house, but that's okay. Uh, but anyway, you can go check those out. And, uh, you know, this is just going to be running down there anyway. So I'm going to pause the video here, and I will come back when I am in the south. Or if I get jumped and something interesting happens. Uh, also, if I loot a house. If I'm going to loot something, uh, especially a small house, I'll definitely bring back the video for that. So I'll see you then.
Okay, we're coming up on a hot spot here with a ton of zombies. And um, I am going to actually try and run through these zombies and get in there and loot the loot the house just because I, uh, you know, there's a lot of zombies here and it's it's honestly it's not worth my time and ammo. So it's the daytime; they're not going to be that much of a problem. So I'm just going to go in here and block this off. Should give me enough time to loot up. And this is usually a really nice house to loot. There's a safe upstairs that I'm going to be hitting. So, you know, I'm not going to just... I'm not just going to, you know, not loot this house. I'm going to have plenty of time to get down to the south. I'm not I'm not pressed for time, so... Uh, yep, there we go. Pretty nice, pretty nice booty there. Um, I'm just going to be looking for water and glass jars. Oh, boy, I'm already full. See, those, I picked up a bunch of stones on the way, and stones are turned into, like, little pebbles are turned into, turned into stones, and those usually, you know, mess you up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to eat that. Actually, I'll just eat this. And we'll eat this as well. And we'll take these. And we don't have enough room. We'll have enough room. I'm going to make room for water. Water is really important here. Whoa! Hey, chief! I'm going to have to kill these guys to get out. And you too. Get out of my way, you jerk. Die already. Get out of the way, lady. Coming through. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Um, I'm not going to cut the video yet because I'm going to loot this car here. Uh, actually, do I have any places to loot? Yeah. Well, there's a little place to loot there on the side. The problem is I don't have a lot of inventory room. Uh, ugh, see, I want to take everything. This is... This is becoming an issue. This is really, really becoming an issue. This this loot thing. Um, I pff, you just try and carry everything with you. You know, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make some torches out of this grass. That'll help. Where's my torches? I don't even have any. See, that didn't even really do anything. <laughs> it didn't do anything at all, actually. <laughs> um, all right. Well, let's go ahead and turn this into scrap metal. Where's my scrap metal? There it is. Then we'll take you. And we'll turn you into scrap metal. And leave you guys there. I don't care. Uh, there is actually a place coming up that I would really like to loot right here. But you know what? I just don't have any room and I don't want to drop any of this stuff. You know? It's just, uh, I don't have any room. So I'm going to actually forego any other looting opportunities. And uh, I'm going to pause the video and I'll come back when I'm at my destination. All right, and I'm coming up on my destination. I've just been grabbing all the yucca and uh, plant aloe I could find. And uh, we're going to have to clear this place out, and we're going to have to set up a little base here. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's go ahead and kill some zombies. Actually, why not? Let's just use the knife. Now down here, here will be dark. Oh. Well, that didn't work out well, but... The nice part about the dogs is they don't do any damage. Well, they do damage, but not a lot. Oh, man. I'm like the best knife forever. Did you see that? See that guy fall back? Great, I don't have any room. Come on, dog, let's dance. Let's dance! Yeah, what now? I'm feeling good. I'll even knife fatty right here. Alright, guys, uh, I think the knife is a big thumbs up for me. I kind of like it. <laughs> place up. Guys, I gotta, I gotta tell you, I feel a lot more, um, I don't know, I just feel better with the controls now. 
um, I feel a lot more comfortable with the, with with these controls now. It's 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 actually quite nice. Now I am going to take care of these stairs here, and I'm going to just stay here for the night. This is going to be my my second outpost. I'm not going to build it as an outpost just yet, but um, if you know, as long as this game doesn't get updated again like tomorrow, then uh, this will be my uh, second outpost for sure. My, not my second home, my second outpost. I have my hat, I have my home, and then I have outpost one and outpost two. Maybe I'll even think of cool names for them. All right, we are full of stuff. This isn't good. Let's do this. I want these stones. These are destroyed stone, and you get them anytime you destroy stone, you know. And uh, the thing about them is, if you gather them together, you can turn them into cobblestone, which is quite, which is quite strong. This would be the other one we get rid of. This stairway. We got some time. I'll get rid of him from down here. It'll be easier. And then, oh, and then we do have to worry about wall climbers. But uh, I'll set up some kind of defense against them. I'm not quite sure yet, but you know, a couple wall climbers here and there is are manageable. Actually, I wonder if I just break this. Will the whole thing fall? It sounds like wood. Nope, the whole thing's not falling. Oh, come on, dude. It's floating. Not cool, man. Not cool. What happened to the realistic physics? Okay, so as you drink water, I think you have to keep that water on your on your actual, like, hot bar. Like, clicked for a certain amount of time or else you don't actually get to drink it. That goes for eating as well and probably healing yourself. All right, now we need to set up how we're gonna get upstairs and that is going to be simple enough. Actually, let's just turn all this. There we go, and now it turns a bunch of these into sticks and then we will go ahead and make ladders. That's not how you make ladders. Oh, I really messed this one up, didn't I? Uh, there, there, and get that out of there. Beautiful. Ladders. Oh, I just passed them, didn't I? There we go. Um, I'll just throw the rest of these sticks on the ground. I really don't have room for them at the moment. So let's go ahead and make these ladders that we're going to get up there with. And we will go up right here. Works for me. Now, zombies can climb ladders, but I have little tricks I can use to, you know, make that not a problem. By the way, remember how I said climbers are going to be a problem? They're not going to be a problem. I don't know why I keep calling them climbers. They're spider zombies. But they're actually not going to be a problem. And I'll show you why in a minute. First of all, let's go ahead and make some cobblestone. Cobblestone is four destroyed stones set up like that. And you get four cobblestone for it, so you don't, like actually lose anything. we got some holes in the roof here. we got to patch these up and see if they're good. Yeah, they're good. You can walk on them. Now, there's a lip. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a lip right here that kind of goes over the edge of this place, and that makes it so the spider zombies can't get to me. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's put some stuff in here. Stones, put a I don't know, just some glass jars for now. I don't really know. Do I have any water sources around me? Eh, not really. It's okay. Not a big deal. Now we are just going to put this right here. Um, we do have some more looting we can do, but it's actually getting late, and this video is running long, so I am going to just end it. That should make us pretty safe up here. Uh, let's just make some more torches. Uh, torch, torch, torch. I threw away my, all my sticks. There we go. There we go. Now we got a few torches. And let's just light this up in case they do get up here. It's very possible. I would say probable even. And this part should be pretty safe. Um, I'm worried about the climbers on this part, to be honest. So let's just uh, 
Let's light this up a little bit more just in case of the climbers. And we'll brick that up like that. I'm not going to worry about the glass. Climbers don't seem to break glass yet. I'm sure that'll change eventually, but for now, they, they I haven't seen them break glass yet. So Now, the climbers could climb up here. So what we could do to combat that is make a lip like that. Now they can't climb up there. Well, they can climb up there, but there we go. Now they can't. They shouldn't be able to climb up here. Actually, I could just do this. So that's pretty safe right now. I just got to make sure this place is properly lit now. Uh, I actually forgot to reset my timer during one of my breaks. So uh, this, this episode should be a little bit longer than usual. I'm sure you don't mind. And that's it. We should be safe up here now. Now, next video... Uh, I'm going to come back in the morning, and I am going to take my auger, and I'm just going to get a bunch of sand. I might get sand the whole video. I'm not really sure. Uh, if I don't get sand the whole video, if I decide, like, I've got enough sand, I'll come up here, I'll dump it off, and then I'll just take some time looting this area. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to stay here two days yet. I know I'm going to stay here one day. I'm basically here for sand, but I wouldn't mind looting this area as well. Uh, I'm thinking I'm just going to stay here one day, get all the sand, and move on. Just because, like I said... They keep coming up with updates for this game so often, and I feel like I'm not making any progress, so I kind of want to make this an accelerated Let's Play. So I think I'll get a bunch of sand, and then maybe I'll do some looting here, and then I'll come up and spend another night here, and then after that night, I am going to take all my goodies and go back home and see what we can do. So we're actually getting somewhere on this Let's Play, so let's uh, let's keep our fingers crossed that they don't update it to Alpha 5 tomorrow. <laughs> which would not be out of the realm of possibility. All right, guys, I've rambled on enough, so that's going to be it for Episode 2, and we'll see you next time for Episode 3. Till then, take it easy.